The Cat with Boots Once upon a time, there was a young miller who inherited a mill, a donkey, and a cat from his father. The miller thought the cat wouldn't be of much use, but he was mistaken. The cat was very clever and told his master to buy him a pair of boots and a hat, and to entrust his future to him. The cat put on the boots and the hat and went to the forest to hunt. There, he caught a rabbit and presented it to the king as a gift from his master, whom he called the Marquis of K. Rabbis. The king was very grateful and told the cat to let him know when he wanted to visit. The cat continued hunting and bringing gifts to the king until one day he learned that the king would be taking a stroll in the countryside with his daughter, the princess. He then told his master to bathe in the river, and when the king passed by, the cat began shouting that the Marquis of Carabas's clothes had been stolen. The king recognized the cat and ordered a new and elegant suit for his supposed master. The miller dressed up and got into the king's carriage, who invited him to accompany him. The cat went ahead and arrived at the castle of a powerful sorcerer who could transform into any animal. The cat challenged him to turn into a lion, and the sorcerer did. Then he challenged him to transform into a mouse, and the sorcerer did. The cat then pounced on him and ate him. Thus, the cat became the owner of the castle and all its riches. When the king arrived, the cat told him that it was the palace of the Marquis of K. Rabas and invited him to enter. The king was impressed by the miller's fortune and offered him the hand of his daughter. The miller accepted and married the princess. The cat became his best friend and advisor, and they lived happily ever after. Moral of the story, one should not despise any gift, no matter how humble, as it can be very valuable. This was today's story, with its moral. Did you like it? You can comment below to let us know what you thought. If you want more stories with morals, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, I've provided several links in the description to books I recommend. We say goodbye with the hope that each story leaves a lasting impression on you. Until the next story.